this is Mel Karlik from prettierweb.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a simple pop-up to your WordPress website. So uh, as you can see here on the screen I have a pop-up example so this is for a Black Friday sale. So this um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do um, a pop-up like this where it's an image or it's something that you created in the visual editor that you want to just announce something in your website. It's not going to do anything fancy like um, collect leads to your newsletter. Um, for that I'm going to do another video but uh, for now this is um, a, just a simple a tutorial on how to create a pop-up. So let's begin. So in your WordPress backend if you go to plugins and you click on add new and you search for pop-up pop -up maker. So search for pop-up maker and um, I already have it installed. So uh, make sure the author is Daniel Eze. That's the plugin we're using. And once you have it installed, you'll have this pop up maker um, menu item on your dashboard. So click there. And I already have that Black Friday one created. So I'm going to disable this one for now and create an entirely new one. So disable it. I am going to disable all my targeting and update. And, um, or if you want to disable it, actually what you can do is at your bottom here, um, enable auto open. If you uncheck that, and um, that will also work. Anyway, and so now I'm going to create add new and I'm going to create a different pop-up. So instead of that black pop-up, I'm going to create a glitter, glitter, uh, black Friday sale pop-up. So it doesn't matter what you call it here because um, that's just the name you're going to give it in the back end to identify it. If you are going to create it using the visual editor, the, here's where you can put in a title and then down below is here where you can put in your content. But I'm just going to use an image. So I'm going to add an image I already uploaded here and I'm going to insert it into my post. Now I want to be able to click on this image and go to my Black Friday sale page. So I have just a dummy page here that I created and I'm going to update that link. I want to target it for the entire site. So any, any a page you land on, I want this pop up to appear. But of course, it won't make sense on that Black Friday page. So I'm going to exclude it on pages and then I select a specific page, Black Friday, and make sure you click Add Selected here. And that will, um, that will disable this pop-up for your Black Friday page. Now um, the display settings. So medium is about 60% of your browser width. That makes sense if you're using content, but because I'm using image, I want it um, to auto kind of resize to that image. And here I want to um, have a overlay, which is kind of going to be the background image of uh, your pop-up. You've probably seen with light boxes. Um, the only thing I don't like about this plugin is that it automatically shows a white overlay. I kind of prefer a different color, but um, that's the only thing that kind of bugs me right now. But I'm going to keep that and um, I'm going to show it as a slide in animation. I'm going to put it in the middle smack in the center, middle center of the page. Uh, position, these options are if you want to stack different pop-ups if you have more than one. Uh, the Z index is um, if you want, if you are layering, then the higher the Z index, that's the pop-up that's going to be on top of the other ones. Close settings. So this is important. I want to be able to close it when I click outside the pop-up. I could also uh, close it by the escape and there's going to be a close button here. So and it's just going to say close. Then this is another important setting, the auto open setting. So click this. This means that the pop-up will automatically open after five milliseconds, 500 milliseconds, sorry, that's five seconds. And um, the cookie, so the cookie section is um, if you want, if you don't really want to bug people with this pop up on every single page, you can set a cookie and that cookie will be triggered maybe when you close the page or it could be when you open the page and it will, um, and you can use session cookies and, and that means that they'll prevent the pop up from auto opening on any page until the cookie expires, okay? 
and um, so you can also set the cookie, cookie time to be um, a certain um, length so it won't show up this pop-up again until a th 30 days or something like that so you don't bug people that are regulars to your site but I do want to bug people because this is an important promotion it's only on for a day so I want everybody to see it um, on every page so I'm going to disable this cookie altogether and I think that's about it for all my settings so I am going to publish this now and um, let's go back to my website so now I first had this black um, pop up now let's see I should have a new glitter one so let's click on any page here and voila that's my new black or glitter pop, pop up when I click outside that should um, hide the pop up I click on another page yes and if I click on the banner itself, I should go to my Black Friday page. That's it. And I don't see that pop up, of course, because I disabled it. So um, I hope this makes sense. This is a very um, simple way to add pop ups to your WordPress website. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page and um, check out prettierweb.com for how to follow me on different social media links. Thanks, everyone.